Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In today's episode, I want to discuss me selling one of my core dividend-only positions, and that ticker symbol is Verizon. Recently, the Wall Street Journal just published an article about how companies like AT&T and Verizon cover their cables for phone and internet in lead, and they're also underground. And some of the workers for Verizon have got serious lead poisoning, and in, an, in the ground around these cables, there's significant amounts of lead. So with this new story that just came out this past weekend, I chose to sell my position of Verizon. All right, I'm gonna go through one of the articles about Verizon and A&T and these lead-covered cables. All right, here we go. All right, everybody, one of the main reasons I decided to sell Verizon was because I think there's no real situation where there's not impending litigation against Verizon and AT&T. Lead poisoning is super serious. And if it gets in the water table, it gets in the ground soil, it could kill animals, it can kill fish, all sorts of wildlife, and human beings are really sensitive to lead. Lead poisoning leads to birth defects, cancer, and a myriad of other illnesses. So I think that it's only a matter of time before attorney generals announce litigation against Verizon and AT&T. Verizon stock recovered a little bit today after getting absolutely decimated yesterday. I don't know how far this is going to go. Is it going to be a couple hundred millions of dollars in litigation or is it going to be a lawsuit in the billions of dollars? It's just some type of risk that I'm not willing to take on right now, especially for only a 7% dividend. Okay, here's the article. Wall Street Journal exposes major environmental issues for both AT&T and Verizon. This article is from Fierce Telecom reporting on the Wall Street Journal article. So the paper that the Wall Street Journal presented said that lead from at least 2,000 old telco cables has degraded over time and contaminated myriad locations in water, in the soil, and from overhead lines. So the EPA is going to get involved. This is going to be a serious clusterfuck and something I do not want to be a part of. Here it says, doctors say that no amount of contact with lead is safe, whether ingested or inhaled, particularly for children physical and mental development. Yeah, that's one thing that it majorly affects is children. There's all the lead paint issues in like the 60s and 70s. And it's just, it's serious. It, I mean, and then Verizon put out a statement. It said, taking these concerns regarding lead sheath cables very seriously and in his testing sites where the journal found contamination. Well, what really pisses me off is that there's no way that Verizon didn't know that the contamination was happening and they just chose to not do anything about it. So not only is it from a business perspective, but from a moral perspective, what Verizon did kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I did like the company. I thought it was a really good value. But with this recent you know, article coming out from the Wall Street Journal, I just can't be invested in a company that's knowingly poisoning water tables and the environment. I'm just not cool with that. And that's another reason why I had to get rid of Verizon. All right, says so what's next? New Street Research Policy Analyst Blair Levin wrote that the journal's story will likely result in calls to investigate from Congress and various federal agencies such as the EPA, OSHA, and the FCC. With all these companies coming down on Verizon and AT&T, I don't think as investors we can be exposed to a company like this because once the litigation gets announced, that stock price is going to go down 10, 20, maybe even 30%. So it's, the risk to reward is just not there for Verizon and AT&T. And I think AT&T is trading at like a 25-year low right now. And another question I had to ask myself is like, is, were... Verizon and AT&T a really great value are these or or are these companies dying businesses I don't know in the long term but in the short term this could take years to play out two three four maybe even five years we know government agencies don't do anything quickly so for all these reasons I had to end my stake in Verizon actually what I'm doing to I had a 
only a couple hundred dollars in losses. So I think this stock price is going to be depressed for a while. So what I'm doing is selling uncovered calls in the $38 to $42 range. That's a very risky strategy, but I'm just doing it for little bits of premium to help mitigate some of my losses over time. I don't see Verizon running up into the 40s anytime soon, so that's why I tried to do this strategy. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think about this whole Verizon AT&T scandal? Are you investing in Verizon and AT&T? Are you buying the dip or are you kind of keeping your distance from the stock? All right, thanks so much for joining me in this video, guys. I hope this information helped you to make your own financial decisions. And if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.